Chapter 52 Soul Seizing Zhu Fangxin learned how to play the flute from Yi Jushang for the entire night. She only let Yi Jushang leave when she had some small achievements. Fortunately, he helped her dispose of Qin Tai's corpse before he left, saving her a lot of trouble. Zhu Shang losing soul, soul seizing, Zhu Yu, losing and seizing soul. Soul, could it be that the Jushan Gukin is related to the Zhu Yu flute? It doesn't matter if they're related. In any case, this Zhu Yu flute is mine. Zhu Fangxin had been tossing and turning for the entire night. She had also exhausted too much of her spirit energy previously. She was really tired, the moment she hit the bed, she fell asleep, not waking up late into the morning when the sky had lit up. Jasmine knew that Zhu Fangxin was too tired last night and had been injured, so she did not dare to disturb her rest. However, seeing that it was almost noon and that she had something very important to do today, she had no choice but to come in and wake her up. Miss, today is the poetry gathering banquet hosted by His Highness the Third Prince. Li Yao Yao has woken up early in the morning to dress up and is waiting for you to set off with her. A poetry gathering, if not for Jasmine's reminder, Zhu Fangxin would have long forgotten about it. Jasmine, tell Li Yao Yao that an assassin barged into Duke's estate last night. I'm injured and can't attend the banquet with her. Let her go by herself. After Zhu Fangxin finished speaking, she turned around and returned to her sleep. What dog tea poetry gathering? It was all an activity for royal descendants and aristocrats to secretly compete among themselves. There might be some plots and machinations happening. She did not want to waste time and energy playing silly games with these boring people. If she had that much free time, she would rather work hard at cultivation. Now that she had practiced the reverse spirit art and the heart cleansing incantation, adding the soul seizing art, last night, she was too busy and had no time to play games with those people. Jasmine did as Zhu Fangxin instructed and told Li Yao Yao to attend the third prince's banquet alone. Although Li Yao Yao was angry, she did not dare to show it. No matter how angry she was, she had to smile and greet her. Jasmine, did Cousin Fangxin say that the Duke's estate's carriage can be used by me alone? The reason she had waited bitterly for Zhu Fangxin for half a day was to take the carriage of the Duke's estate to attend the banquet. This was a symbol of her status. If she took a lousy carriage, she would probably be mocked to death. However, the answer she got after waiting for a long time was that Zhu Fangxin was no longer attending the banquet. It did not matter if Zhu Fangxin did not want to attend the banquet. The main thing was that she had to use the Duke's estate's carriage. Otherwise, how could she attend the banquet? Miss didn't say anything about this. Jasmine naturally knew Li Yaoyo's thoughts, but she didn't want to expose her. She had been ordered to secretly observe Li Yaoyo. She felt that Li Yaoyo was suspicious and always rummaged through the Duke's estate as if she was looking for something. The silk Li Yaoyo was wearing today must have been secretly exchanged for something from the Duke's estate. She was really an ingrate. The Duke was already lying on the bed unconscious, but she did not give a hoot and was even in the mood to dress up for some banquet. Then help me ask around, I want to use the Duke's estate's carriage. Since Li Yaoyo had a favor to ask of Jasmine, her attitude was amiable, unlike how she usually looked at people with her chin. Miss Li, young Miss was injured last night and needs to rest. You can't disturb her too much. If there's nothing else, then it'll take my Li first. Jasmine was unwilling to help Li Yaoyo, so she left after saying a few perfunctory words. Li Yaoyo was about to flare up. Unexpectedly, a servant came to report, Miss Li, a carriage came from outside. It said that it was here to pick you up for the banquet. A carriage? 